Good evening, all. Uh, we are playing on Saito. Uh, <clears throat> Tucho and I set up a best of five a little while back, and we're two all. So this is the decider. Um, we're using the Saito cards, so slightly different. There's a few um, extra cards that people might not be used to. Uh, but we'll give it a best go. Um, so let's start. We're USSR. We don't have independent reds. Nope. I've got the China card under there. Um, so we'll open 441 and I'll put one in Yugoslavia. Um, one in Yugoslavia. And I've got my card tracker on the other tab. So I'll start plugging that in. Although the card tracker is a little harder to keep track of because there are extra cards. Um, but I'll do the best I can because I like to try and make sure I know what on earth my opponent has. They've opened 442. Classic. So what are our options? We could go Arab-Israeli war into um, yeah, Arab-Israeli war into cooing on four, six, seven, yeah, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Yep, okay. I've not got D-style, unfortunately. I've got De Gaulle. I put the wrong card in. Right, yeah. So options are, we don't have Duck and Cover, so De Gaulle, Duck and Cover doesn't work. Arab Israeli War, 50-50, Coup Iran. Or Vietnam Revolts, Coup Iran, trying it to Thailand. I think Vietnam Revolts or Access is probably better. So we'll go Vietnam Revolts. Cambridge 5, of course, is an option. But if we get shown Europe, we can't do a lot with it anyway. So, let's go Vietnam Revolts. I believe we were defected. Yep. Which is a shame, but, you know, could go worse. And now we will use Purge to coup Iran. Okay. It worked, but it's the most counter couable number. But we'll then use De Gaulle to coup the last time. Oh boy, that is a monster. <laughs> All right, so if we coup with De Gaulle on Iran, we need a four, five, or six. A four cleans them out, and a five or a six flips it. Any less than that leaves some of their stuff in Iran. So the question is, how lucky do we feel? Um, let's be lucky. We were not lucky. Um, we'll use US Japan to take South Korea. So he's used special relationship and EEU. I've used to Gaul and Purge. So I think we want presence in the Middle East. And put pressure on Pakistan since we have Indo-Pakistani war. Are you going to play it safe and take Thailand? Or are you going to be aggressive and take Pakistan? No decal or D-style yet, which is a shame. Oh. Where are we at? We're at AR4, aren't we? Yeah, it's too soon to, to play containment. That's a bit of an invitation. 
But we do have Indo-Pakistani war. So if they walk into India, we've got a nice clean 50-50 on it. Okay, they've got Middle East scoring. Glad that we got the presents when we got, and also glad they defected the headline, because they actually lost a VP in the process. So we'll now go South Korea and India with Cambridge 5. And then AR6 will take... Oh, spacing? What did you space? Oh, no, you vented captured Nazi. Okay. Let's jam up. Give them containment for the last round. Duck and cover. Ooh. Going to jam South Korea. North Korea. Ooh, very aggressive. So we get Asia scoring. Let's have a look at what else. Truman blockade. A couple of one-op cards is a shame. But we could have worse. Independent Railway. We've got remaining abdication. So it is worse. That's a lot of one-op cards. Korean War. Suez Crisis. Ooh, yeah. Not great at all. Um, I guess we're blockading them. We've got no better headline. And they play duck and cover, so we'll be able to get a coup off at least. Yeah. Let's blockade them. Oh, he gave us NASA. That's weird and wonderful. Let's see what was pitched. Socialist governments. Hopefully means d Style's still in the pack somewhere unless he's going to space it. So we use independent reds to coup on Iran, I guess. Great. And we have in a Pakistani war, so we know they can't um, do us on Milops. So, we need to use Suez to take Koreas, the Koreas. And uh, that is a problem. That looks good to me. So, we can drop Asia scoring for neutral, even if they... TB. Oof. Someone's drowning in ops. Yeah, that's fine. So we drop Asia for one VP to America. Not great. Could be worse. Yes, no problem. Thanks for the big pop-up. Yeah, saw that coming. Well, uphill struggle here, but we we can always try some other lines in due course. And we do now have we've set Pakistan. We do have domination in the Middle East at least.
So we'll hold in the Pakistani wall through the turn. Hello. Uh, ah, right. So. Has the US played? The, the log does not say so. Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to refresh the page to be on the safe side. Yeah. Brilliant. Dun, dun, dun. And we're back. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so what do we want to do? We will take Libya to consolidate the Middle East. But we're up against it here. Um, what we want to do is De Gaulle, France. No decal or D style. Brutal. That is bad for us. And we're on AR6, yeah? Yeah. So, last stop in South Korea to overprotect. We're less worried about India because of India Pakistani war. At least we've seen CIA. Small mercies. Boy, oh boy. USA at plus 11. Well, we got cultural diplomacy, which is good. That is a bomb card. So what do we think they have? We got you and I. NORAD, Warsaw Pact, so it's back in the reshuffle. So I think they got Formosa, five-year plan, NATO, Marshall plan if I haven't seen it, which I may have, Olympic Games and Comic-Con. Those are our unseen cards. We've got Cult Dip, Special Relationship, Suez, Duck and Cover. Which is going to space or being used with you in intervention. One, two, four, five, six, seven. And cultural diplomacy is our eighth card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, fine. So, headline. I think headline has to be Suez just to frig with France, despite the lack of access. Oh boy, purged.
That's going to hurt. So, we will start with a coup on Panama to get our mill ops. Nice, and now we can event Cult Dip to get into Venezuela. Comic Con's nice. We need to watch out for Formosa being triggered. Ooh. -ey. But I expect to see repairing of France first. And hopefully not. Oh, okay. Uh Independent Reds is gone. Yeah, usual suspects. One, two, three. Okay, we're all right in the Middle East. So, event cultural diplomacy. So next is special relationship. I hope they haven't filled the UK at that point. Good. Don't need to worry about being dominated in Asia. And special relationship can now be played. So we'll space duck and cover a new intervention NORAD. Shame you didn't event five year plan and pull duck and cover. Space duck and cover. Nope. Those victory points may be expensive. Oh boy. No. So in the Pakistani war, we're gonna gamble and 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 hit Pakistan because we really need the two VP. It's worth a VP. I mean, getting Voice of America out of South America is terrible, but there's so many other ways for them to frig with it, and we need VPs at this point just to get some breathing space. Man, real brutal. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate, but I'll take it. So I think Marshall Plan did play earlier and I forgot it. So I think they're holding Olympic Games. So let's hope they don't get Voice America. Event in the Pakistani war, hit Pakistan, succeed, 2 VPs help. So we're going to be at minus, plus 12, which is about 17 VP behind where you like to be, going into the mid-war as Russia. Ouch. Maybe this is um, like a telling testament for... Uh, And what's going on in Russia right now, right? 
There's marching on Moscow even in this game. Arab-Israeli war. Playing into Jordan would be sensible. The other op is just a bonus. Well, no surprises there. Even without... Okay. Oh, CIA. Gross. Um, well, We Will Bury You comes in handy here. And we got Brush Wall, which is nice. We Will Bury You prevents any cooing shenanigans. Yeah, I think we want to do that. We Will Bury You gets us 3 VP and drops DEFCON. And we've got Brush Wall in our back pocket. Oh. So, <clears throat> next up is Alliance for Progress, I guess, and an op into Venezuela and Libya to prevent Voice of America. And the extra operations point can go into Nicaragua in case. That's probably all right. Camp David and Sadat is bad for us. We're going to try and hold those as long as possible so we can try and... Yeah, no surprises there. Um, four. Yeah, I think we use nuclear test ban to queue Nicaragua and just go, go big. Pow. And we got our 3 VP from We Will Bury You. So down to 9. Okay, Africa starts, that makes sense. The other two, Mexico, that's fine. We've got Brush War. Europe has scored. Sassy, what do we think? Yeah, let's do it. 50-50, woo! <laughs> Ariba. Alas, we don't have it. Ooh. So, we'll eventually brand. Keep getting this score down a bit. So, they got ABM. They can get all the great cards. Um, we're going to space defectors. Nah, space camp David, I guess, actually. Uh, Marshall Plan, back into Mexico, West Germany, March up through, I forget, that makes sense. Hooray! Nice big cool Mexico next turn for us would, uh, a 10 VP Central America would make a big difference. And obviously with Allende or Junta, Chile and Argentina would be nice too. If they get a hunter, we're stuffed. But if we get a hunter, we are right back in this game. What failed to go to space? Libthy. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so AR6, AR7, yeah? 6, 7, yeah. So we will go defectors... 
two into Iraq, and then we eat Sadat and hope to Muslim rev them out of Jordan and Saudi or take Israel before them. But either way, we continue to dominate until they take Egypt and Israel. Oh, got the scoreline down to a sort of manageable amount, but there's still a lot of work to do. And Africa, of course, is problematic. Okay, what you got with that time? And you're peaking now. d style Getting less useful for us. So headline peaking is a thing I need to be ready for. That's a gimme. Nice. That's good for us. That gives us an in. Okay. Central America scoring could be massive, couldn't it? Absolutely massive. Southeast Asia score is, is massive the other way, though. Oh, man. We're going to have to use the China card or give them OAS. Now, they are peaking. So do we quagmire them and then use Brezhnev to coup? Since we're eventing a bunch of cards this turn, Brezhnev's not as good. Yeah, we're going to show um, quagmire and they may just bear trap us in response. So handshake in space, we kind of want to event to push them to the 3vp square without getting the benefit. Southeast and central. Ah, do they grain sales us? Yeah. <laughs> so no hand shortening, which is good for us. So we go Central America scoring before it gets any worse, I think. Nice. They didn't get out. Pitched OPEC roll of five. Good. I think now we want to event missile MV. Ah, a cube missile crisis. Ah, yeah, but they can take influence out of West Germany. Ooh. Uh, shame about that. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to get Milop to event Korean War. We need to drop Southeast Asia scoring. I think we do that. Southeast Asia scoring first. Oop. Too much typing. Quagmire ends with Nixon. Alas. So now we event Handshake in space. And I think we're going to... Oh, great. Yeah, oh, for a minute I thought we were undominated. Good. Uh, event Korean War to get the Milops for the turn, because there's nowhere we can coup, right? Yeah, that's right. So, a very... Oh, oh no. I'm going to need to refresh again. Middle East scoring definitely came through.
Ah, you've triggered puppet governments. So I think they took me at least going back and play public governments instead. Yeah, okay. Now we can coup Ethiopia to get our milops instead. Just to deny. Currently, we've got Andy in our back pocket. And now they're in Argentina, we can play OAS and hold the China card. Not happy about it. Not happy about the scoreline either. Not happy about a lot of things. So we will. Put three into Israel with um, Camp David Accords gone. <laughs> there it is. All right, we'll event OAS and see what they do with it. Yeah, well, guess I brought that on myself. But it's a coup target, and I had to play it. You got a three-up card left in the bank? Okay, Age of Scoring is good for us. Hunter's great for us. So, ask not. We got Lone Gunman, unfortunately. Muslim Rev, now Middle East has scored. Less exciting. Africa scoring still to come out, unfortunately. We got Voice America. We can space that. Nice. One small step. John Paul and a flower power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hunter's definitely the play. Getting bear trapped is about the worst thing in the world. But it does help here, right? If we get bear trapped, we put two in Brazil and coup Argentina. If we don't get bear trapped, we put two in Argentina, coup Argentina, so we can then take Brazil and Argentina. And ideally, we put two in Argentina and clean coup it so we can use flower power to take Chile and Brazil for the full sweep. Ooh. Defcon to two. So, we go to Argentina and then go realign. Whoa. We are going to bank on them having South America scoring and with IND in our back pocket. And we are going to take Colombia. Che. No targets. Can't do a lot about that. Take battlegrounds. <sighs> Ooh. 
will be trading 10 in Africa for 10 in South America, and they get theirs first. But that must be wrong. To drop. Yeah, I'm going to refresh that. The scoreboard's wrong because um, they just scored 10. I think I clicked OK too quickly. Or, once again, I clicked on Africa. Yeah. That's, I think, I've got to forget if I click around the the map. Oh, okay. Um, we need Milops, so I will be happy to counter coup. Yeah. I'll counter coup with John Paul. Given how fragile Europe is. That way I get my Milops in one go. And I can use Lone Gunman to repair Poland. And now they can't go to coup again. If I need to do some repairs, I'll use one small step. Although I really want to Space Voice America and event one small step. Ugh, man. Still not great, though. And we got dealt Lone Gunman, which is also not good. So the game's very much against us here. Berlin Agreement. Oh, very nice, very nice. Forget about these other cards. So Berlin Agreement puts two influence into... I oh know, one influence into another European country when an opponent has less influence. Ah, yeah, but you just use it for ops rather than the event. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Oh, man, I really don't want to use Ask Not at this point. So I'm just going to pop another one in Poland, stay ahead. I want to see South America scoring go before I use Ask Not. Because I cannot afford to give up 10 VP. Okay. Now we know they don't have any scoring cards. We'll jam a bit in there. That was a helpful Cambridge 5 in a way. And with OPEC gone, there's not a lot they can pitch that we'd be upset about. Cultural Revolution. Decol. Kitchen to base. Yeah, fair enough. No, still ops warring in Poland. We're staying behind in space. <laughs> oh, man. Do I want to give up the China cards? I'm not happy about it. I guess I'm I'm behind in Europe, right? Ugh, but tear down this wall really mangles me. We haven't seen Cultural Revolution. And this way I get to hold Voice of America through the reshuffle. That's my excuse. It's not a good one. And I get trapped. Nice. Very nice. So I need to try and find a DEFCON dropper. Oh, Africa scoring. Oh, boy. So, U2 Incident, Cult Rev. Africa and South America scoring. Uh, omit U2. Yep. To Gaul. Norad's back. In which case,
They could have any or all of, because I've not been tracking very well. East European Unrest, Red Scare Purge, D. Col, Vietnam Revolt, South African Unrest, Summit Lads, Arms Race, Panama Canal, Colonial Rear Guards, and Shuttle Diplomacy. And because all of those cards are unaccounted for, I'm just going to play South America scoring and hope for the best. Let's just check cards in the discard pile. See if there's not been a reshuffle. No, okay, there's been a reshuffle and I've just not not tracked very well, which is fine. That's what I do. So yeah, let's No defectors, no ABM, no brush, no voice of America I've got. That's fine. Hmm. It's interesting the log says end of round six. Should be turn six. Turns and action rounds. Nomenclature. Okay. Great. Lads comes too late. And I score. So, Voice of America into the trap. And I'm out in one. Yeah, not for long, mate. Not for long. Unless you want to let me have a coup. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Guess we want to... Set up rear lines on Argentina. Overprotect East Germany against tear down this wall. Not great. Could be worse. Just use EU. Got it. So definitely eventing cult rev. Although, yeah, Nixon and Yasiri are both coming back round. Oh man, that's bad for us in one region. We'll take the China card back though. Oh! Oh dear. Okay, yeah. Defcon's pretty much our best way to win at this point, and that's slim, let's say. So, yeah. And they can now discard a health card. So Defcon's really unlikely. Um, space emit. Jam France with Norad and then event de Gaulle. Yeah. Oh boy. That's always likely to happen. Oy, 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 oy. Yeah, so AR7 event to call. Kiss goodbye to this game. But it's been an uphill struggle since the start.
Yep, very late for that. We'll still have Endergall. Still going to make it tricky. And we will go 1 and 2 in Botswana. And Vietnam Revolts, yeah. Oh boy, boy, oh boy. So Muslim Rev removing Egypt and Saudi and getting control of the Middle East is like a huge prerequisite. Aldrich James is fine. Pershing on the end. I think we've got to start with Aldrich. And hope it doesn't get defected. Nato Pershing. Chernobyl duck and cover. We've got a lot of DEFCON suicide cards as well. Star Wars Missile Envy. Star Wars Duck and Cover CIA. So Duck and Cover AR1, of course, possibly. Got to start with Aldrich. And hope we don't get defected. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't coup last turn either. Oh boy. <laughs> That's the one to defect. Okay. How are we going to navigate this? I think we have to if uh, we have to play duck and cover space star wars and hold cia yeah so many cards that grant vp to america in the end game Yeah, War Games VP or any space of a three op card. Well. Yeah, it's a fun game, uh, but USA was always racing away there. Couldn't do anything about it. Um, but it's a it's a fun old game. Well done, Tooch, for winning 3-2. A just result. I think we're well matched. So, yeah, congrats. He can carry the crown here. Um, won't be the last time I play for sure. Well, oh, nice they didn't event five-year plan, because I would have been super dead. <laughs> yep, no problem. Yeah, that's fine. So, Missile MV... We don't want to do anything that accidentally results in DEFCON suicide. We want to lose the old-fashioned way. I will need to coup this turn. 
which I cannot do, so I will be eventing Arab-Israeli war to get my milops. Oh, no, I won't. Where'd you go? Oh, Canada, yes. Oh, Canada. So that's DEFCON suicide avoided. We will be going Pershing as well. Removing Portugal and Canada as well as West Germany. Nice. Didn't see what they used to coup with. Uh, kitchen debate. Came back to them. Technically dominating Europe right now. Not for long. But that's still entertaining. And Italy's only a brush war away. <laughs> Shit, maybe we could control Europe. <laughs> a successful brush war in some sort of massive bash on Germany would be epic. 8R6. We will realign. Beautiful. But we'll overtake France to put another two in Poland before solidarity with Chernobyl. And we made it to turn nine. Imagine. Stole the China card. That is, of course, bad for us, holding CIA. But maybe we'll get Brezhnev. Maybe we can space it. And most importantly, maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tragic to see. Uh, and no war games and VPs are 19. We gotta, let's see, get some VPs. So Iran Iraq war. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I am going to go have my dinner. Uh, Lucas and I should get our Rutzel game in tomorrow around 11 o'clock UK time. So that's six in the morning Eastern time, noon in Europe, uh, dinner time in Asia. Uh, so come see me tomorrow. But yes, good stuff. Thank you for watching. I'm going to log off there, and I hope to see you tomorrow morning for a play deck game of Rutzel against Lucas. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.